Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the Entry Level Metal Series. Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you don't know anything about this channel, uh, we have went out, this channel's went out, and we've purchased entry level guitars uh, after doing tons of research that we felt like you could buy at a really budget friendly price that will actually be decent guitars. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is go to Fret Not One or go to Fret Not Guitar Reviews, either, both on YouTube and uh, get on the page, find one of the guitars that's in a giveaway, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and then type the words D-O-N-E into the comments under the video, and that puts you in to win a guitar. Yep. <clears throat> welcome to Fred Knot. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the Entry Level Metal Series where we have a new guitar. What are you holding? This is the T's SBH HD. It's their 2024 model. 2024 model. So um, <clears throat> we were contacted by this company. Um, this guitar was sent to us for the purpose of the re of this review. But if you know anything about our channel, <clears throat> we're not keeping the guitar. When we get through reviewing it, we're going to put it up on our page, and one of you guys can win it. Uh, when I first started talking to the owner about this, I didn't really know how he was going to take that part of it. Man, but he, hey, he was super cool and he was very receptive. Um, and I told him, I said, man, we don't keep guitars if we review it and it's in the entry level metal series, we give it away. Mm -hmm. So one of you is going to get a chance to win this. So we're going to start off real quick here. We're going to tell you a little something about the uh, specs on this guitar. And um, then we're going to let you hear it in a mix. We're going to come back and we're going to talk to you and we're going to uh, tell you what we feel about it. And uh, then we're going to put it up on the channel and you get a chance to win it. Yep. So this guitar is obviously based off of a Telecaster body. Mm -hmm. And um, it has um, Alnico 5 pickups in the bridge and the neck. And the bridge is at 13.0. So it's really hot pickups, and the neck's at 7.2, and they do tend to mesh together. Well, I'll hush until we get to that part. <laughs> um, this guitar comes with uh, 500 CTS pots, so in other words, no dime-sized pots in this, no cheap pots. It also has uh, 0.47 uh, capacitors in it, so orange pad capacitors, so that's a really good quality capacitor. It's not you know, the standard run-of-the-mill stuff out of China. Um, it has a Switchcraft style switch, which is really nice. It feels is a nice amazing. Mm -hmm. um, the guitar has gavit wiring. Um, if you're not familiar with the terminology, you probably are, but gavit is more of a cloth-based uh, covered wire, and it's just, um, it's used for a little bit you know, it's just not your basic wire. So the internals of this guitar is really nice. Yeah. Um, it has six saddles on the bridge instead of the three sometimes that get put on the Telecasters and you have two strings per saddle. Mm -hmm. It's got 22 medium jumbo frets and the frets are stainless steel, polished, and ball in. Yeah. That's really unheard of in an entry-level guitar. Maybe Firefly does it a little bit, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, the fretboard on it is maple, so is the neck. Yep. Um, it has a bone nut. Yes, I said that. It has a bone nut, and it also has 18 to 1 locking tuners. Now, they, they do belong to this brand, but they do work really well. Yep. Um, I think it comes in about three colors. I think you can kind of get it in a purple burst, like a, a baby bluish burst, and then this silver burst. And when we started talking about this, the owner of the program, uh, the owner of the company said, hey, I've got, um, I've got a silver burst. And I said, well, actually, out of the three, I probably would prefer the silver burst. Um, but just so you know, and it is said on this video, this guitar that he sent to us is what they call B-Stock. And I'm going to try to get this for the camera. On the up close, you'll be able to see it. There's a little bitty darkened impression under the paint there, and it's tiny. And if I didn't tell you about it, you probably wouldn't know. But because of that, 
it wouldn't be one he would send out of the company. Uh, it went into the, the B stock and I said, Hey man, we're just going to review the guitar and give it away. And I'm sure whoever gets it is probably not even going to notice that or could care less because they're getting it for free. Right. Um, all not in all, bad, our experience with the guitar will be after you hear it in the mix. We'll tell you that I will tell you ahead of time. Um, that the owner of the company has spoken to me many times since he shipped the guitar to us. We just got it. Um, he seems to be really cool, really knowledgeable, um, and seems to kind of be doing this for the right reason. They don't make a ton of money on these guitars. I mean, if you just heard all those specs, there's not really a lot of money left to be made, right. if, regardless where the guitar is built. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to get into tone, playability, um, the overall feel of the guitar, we're going to give you a deep dive on everything we feel about it um, coming up right after the mix on it. And you've been playing it. We'll, we're going to talk more about this after we come out of the mix, but what do you think about it? So far, my overall like thoughts on it are uh, there's a lot of good. That's all good. Okay, so mostly all good. <laughs> so when we come out of the mix, we're gonna sit down with you and we're gonna give you more details on all this, but it really doesn't do us any good to do that now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut and let you see a little up close of it, as much as the camera will do up close. And then we're gonna come straight out of that and we'll go into the mix and you can hear the mix. And after the mix, we'll come back and we're gonna talk price point, how you get it, <clears throat> how long it took to get it, um, playability, um, if all these specs really change um, the overall vibe and feel of the guitar for its price point. Right. All right, so we'll be right back because we're going to shut up and let you hear this in a mix. back you got a chance to kind of see it up close i apologize if the camera doesn't really focus in on it as much i've tried it like six different ways and it really doesn't like to focus up that close uh it's probably because of the way i have the lens but it is what it is and you got to hear it in a mix and um i'm gonna tell you what man when the owner of this company agreed to send this to me i fully expected it to be a um as much as he built it up in conversation, I fully expected it to be a really good representation of a telly. Mm -hmm. And I used to play a telly in a band, and it wasn't mine, but it was the drummers, who was actually a better guitar player than anybody in the band. But anyway, um, 
he had about a seventeen, eighteen hundred dollar telly uh, with the high gloss fretboard, and it was just a gorgeous guitar. And I had to play it on some stuff. And this guitar is very reminiscent of that, even though this doesn't have the high polish on the fretboard. It it mimics it really well, but it is a different animal at the same time. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you played it in the mix. How did it? How does it feel, man? I really. You, how like do you feel about the tone the, and the? The tone is great. Okay. I love the tone. Um, there is definition between uh, with the switch. Yes. And uh, it just feels amazing. The neck's pretty slick, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. So in a minute, we're going to tell you about price point on this. I already we kind of went out, went over the specs on this. Um, if you're new to this channel, man, we review entry level guitars on a not on a daily basis, but we you know Feels we like did, it. It, it does. <laughs> doesn't it? We go through a lot of um, what is so called entry level guitars, and I, I'm gonna tell you what, man. Um, there's a whole bunch of them out there that really need to take a few cues from this person. Now, I did tell you that this guitar was sent to us for the purpose of the review. We're not compensated. I guess some reviewers, their compensation for doing the review would have been the guitar. Yeah. But like I told him, I'm like, we're not going to keep the guitar. We give it away to our to our watchers, you know, our viewers. That's who gets the guitar. And so I thought that was really cool that he was on board with that. Mm -hmm. So we don't get nothing for this review. If you go buy 10,000 of these guitars, well, we ain't getting a quarter. Um, but our job on this channel is to kind of give you information. And man... Uh, a that's a heavy guitar. It's got a little weight to it. It's it's one of the heavier entry levels um, that we've reviewed. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just it feels, it feels like good. A, yes. Um, the neck on it is super slick. Mm -hmm. Plays. It's just a breeze to play. That bridge pickup. Um, it is a humbucker. It's just uh, I'm, uh, I believe he told me it was a humbucker, but it's an Alnico five right. on both the bridge and the neck. So it's 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 pretty hot, and at thirteen, mm -hmm. I think the output on it's like thirteen point oh. Um, is it a bare knuckle juggernaut? Absolutely not. <laughs> it might not be a bare knuckle, it, right? It but does a really good job. It does a really good job. If you don't know on this channel, every bit of tone you hear comes straight out of the quad cortex. Uh, we joke about it. We have quite a few little patches that we use, but to be honest, if you've watched this channel for the last two months since it came out. We've been stuck on the Gojira X. <laughs> yeah, it's just there's so much in that in that plug-in that goes on the Quad Cortex that it's pretty much endless what you can do with it. So uh, we just take their standard patches that you know they have put on there. We don't go in and tweak them to try to make a guitar sound better. It's it just we put it on a patch and play it. Yeah, I've, I've I played it a little bit on some clean as well, and it's it's dreamy. It's, yeah, it's pretty nice. So that's what a telecaster is supposed to be mm -hmm. you know the bridge pickup on, i mean excuse me the neck pickup on a telecaster is supposed to be really uh, articulate yeah. and very clean and I, it is. I, I i was listening to you play it on the clean stuff and it, it is really pretty man mm -hmm. so all in all um this guitar there's a lot of things going on with this guitar a i'm about to put a coupon code on the screen for you it's there it's here it's gonna be somewhere on the screen so i never know where the stinking coupon <laughs> codes go but um it's really simple it's gonna give you five dollars off if you go to their website and you use that code i know five dollars isn't a lot but i hadn't told you the price of the guitar yet so um also i believe it's labor day i don't know if it's labor day weekend or maybe it's an end of summer sale they're also doing a 10 percent off so you can take that five dollar coupon you can get a 10 percent off uh through their website and um you're gonna get this guitar for anyway so the the price on this guitar right now standard for everybody right now is 249 dollars. that's not bad and it ships out of New York, out of the New York area. So if you're in the continental United States, man, I I want to say we had it in two and a half, maybe three days at the most. It's pretty good. Um, it does come double boxed, which was really cool. It comes with a gig bag. Um, it also comes with you know the tools to adjust you know your truss rod and maybe your saddles. Um, 
it's just really well thought out. And did you hear when I said it's $249? And that's before the 10%. That's before the coupon code we're giving you. So long story short, we've reviewed a lot of $200 guitars. I think this is going to come in about 220 225 yeah. before it's all said and done when you get your coupon code on it. Um, that's a really good guitar, guys. It's hard I'm to just, beat. I'm, I'm sorry. It, it's just a really good guitar. Um, I, I have a couple of acquaintances on YouTube that have got these, and I watch their reviews. Fortunately for me, or maybe not as fortunate, but they didn't really do in-depth. They just kind of did unboxing. So I really didn't know what we were getting when we got it. Right. And uh, I'm just telling you, man, regardless what body shape you like, if you're looking for a guitar, if you're a beginner, don't do anything else but buy this. Yeah. If you're intermediate, pro, whatever, this is a guitar, and I'm probably just going to go buy one for myself, just to have, just to be 100% honest with you guys, because I've played a lot of... Um, high-end tellies, sixteen, eighteen hundred dollar tellies. And they're just a lifetime guitar. Mm -hmm. This is built just like that. Yeah, it, it can hang with some of the best of them. Yeah, it's I'm telling you guys, I, I like I said I don't have a dog in the hunt. If he don't ever sell another guitar, it ain't got nothing to do with me. But I'm telling you, uh out of all the stuff we've reviewed in that low $200 range, um, if you didn't take a chance on this and you missed this and bought something else with, you know, cheap wiring, cheap switches, cheap whatever pots, who knows what they put in stuff. I don't take them apart because I probably don't want to see the truth. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, uh, I feel like we've, we've done and reviewed a lot of entry-level guitars and... This one ranks up there with them. As far as the entry level stuff goes, it's it's up there with some of the best we've reviewed. Yeah. So if you're looking at anything out there, I'm not going to sit here and name drop, but if you're looking at anything out there in that two to three hundred, maybe up to four hundred dollar range, um, stop and take a look at this. Go to their website. Um, just go look at what they got. Now this is their Telecaster. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say Tele because it's not a Tele, but it's their SBA Tele esque. Tilly-esque, <laughs> um, they have a, a Strat on there, and I believe, he's probably going to kill me if I'm incorrect, but I believe he said it's got this same neck, but they have their their Strat version on there. And man, I don't know if it has all of these appointments, but it's like 150 bucks. That's still not bad either. Shipped out of America. And so on his Strats, I believe he told me that they have the pickups in the in the um, pick guard and you just simply take the pick guard out and you can buy the whole pick guard with pickups in it. You know what I mean? A lot of people do that on strats. Um, so it's really easy if you bought that for 150 bucks and wanted to put other pickups in it. I haven't heard it, haven't played it. So I can't tell you nothing about that, but I'm telling you that right there. It's a gem. It's a banger. That's nice. really good, man. And I really, I, I was kind of hesitant when he said he wanted to send us one. I was like, you, 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 you know, we do high gain, right? And I was really worried that we were going to have a really thin sounding telly esque guitar. Nope. And there's nothing thin about this guitar. Nope, it's full body sound. Yeah, it, it really does sound good. So mm -hmm. do yourself a favor. Whether you use the little coupon code he gave us to give you guys whether you do the 10%, just go to his site and check out this company because I, I I don't want to praise anybody because it's still business. But to get all of that in that guitar sitting in America for American people to purchase at $249 before the other discounts, um... Trust me, we get a lot of guitars from overseas, and um, a lot of times the guitar itself is the afterthought, and the first thought is the sale of the guitar. You know what I mean? It's not so much about what you got, it's just as long as you paid them. Right. You know what I mean? So some of them leave a whole lot to be desired. Uh, we have had some really good ones in that price range, but they're definitely few and far between.
I feel like everything was just uh, it met the mark. I mean, you, the little blemish aside. Well, now the thing just, looks let me go. Amazing. Let me go back to that blemish. So this is a, a blemish on a guitar that he would not ship out. It would not leave the company this way. It would not be for sale. The only way he would ship that guitar out with that blemish on it is if you called and said, hey, I want that one. Can you give me a discount on it? But that's not something they send out. But when we were talking and he was going to send me a guitar, he's got purple and blue and this, and I really like this. And he's like, man, I don't have any of the silver bursts. I've only got this one, and I've got a couple some more I could go get. But he said, it's going to delay you getting your guitar. And I was like, no, we need it to on time frame to do the review. I said, man, just send me that. That little blemish ain't going to you know, bother nobody. And he's like, well, make sure you tell them that we wouldn't ship that guitar out of our, you know, our institution because of that. It is a B stock or whatever you want to call it right. just because of that little mark. It's all right, though, because like now the blemish has a story. Yep. And a purpose. So, uh, do yourself a favor, man. If you're in the, if you're even thinking about buying a guitar, especially, especially if you're buying a guitar for a beginner, um, man, look at this this guitar because I have a feeling if I bought that, if I order one of those guitars today, and I'm older, I have a feeling on my deathbed I'll still have that guitar <laughs> and it'll still just be like that. You. If you've messed with guitars long enough, when you pick up one and you can kind of tell if there's um, if there's logic behind how it's built, mm-hmm. if there's thought, or if it's a bunch of pieces of wood that a machine put together, and you know they're just kind of it's got to have A, B, C, and D, right. and then it becomes a guitar. Mm-hmm. So I'm just telling you, man. Um, I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you. Till two weeks ago, I never heard of this company, but you know. Doing research, I run across companies all the time I ain't never heard of. And most of them, I don't buy from because I'm just like you guys. I'm scared to send them money because ain't no telling what you get. No, um, I... I think what pushed me over the edge on this, A, I saw a couple of other uh, people on YouTube say, hey, here's an unboxing on the guitar. Nobody played it or nothing that I heard. And um, also the fact that it was it shipped out of America. Now, if you'd have told me that everything you told me about this guitar and it was still overseas and I had to, I had to pay 150 bucks or whatever to get it over here, honestly, I may not have bought it for the purpose of this channel. Right. Um, but at $249, pretty sure they got a 10% discount code running right now. Depending on when you see this, it's kind of end of summer 2024. Um, and uh, if you didn't see the little coupon code, there's a coupon code on the video. It gives you another it's five here. bucks. <laughs> it's floating somewhere. So, um, final thoughts on it, man? Final thoughts on it is while you were running around here getting stuff set up and I was over there just jamming on it, I just, every, every like five, ten minutes, I'd just stop and I'd look at you and I'd be like, this is a pretty damn good guitar. Yes, it is. And, you know, it's it's tough because, uh, you know, in the world of YouTube, everybody's trying to make a dollar and, uh, you know, we're, we, don't, we don't get nothing for this review. I'm telling you, before you spend your money, unless you absolutely cannot stand to play a Telecaster body, you need to forget what you know about Telecaster style guitars. Um, and hopefully this review will kind of enlighten some of that for you and show you that this is a little different. Mm-hmm. And it can still be a traditional telly sound, too. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty crazy. Good. Bottom line, it's good. Look into them. If you don't have a guitar yet or if you're wanting to get a guitar for someone else, Christmas is coming up, who knows, it's good. And get in on the on the giveaway. Don't miss out on yeah, it. Yeah, don't miss out on the giveaway. Oh, and just so you know, um, I, I kind of talk, uh, you know, spoke on this, too, but... Um, Bottom line on that guitar, man, I, I own tons of high-end guitars, you know, hand-built, one-off guitars, and uh, I've, I've owned tons of big brand guitars. And I, I'm telling you, that guitar right there feels like, uh, if it had a different name on it, you, if it had, you put a big box builder on it, you put a thousand bucks on it, and probably nobody would ever say a word. I kept looking at the headstock being like, I don't know this brand, but why <laughs> why don't I know this brand? Right? Um, for what you get on this guitar, man, I don't know if there's anybody out there that's giving you what these people are at this price point, and they're giving you a discount 
And they gave us a coupon code, which it's five bucks, but hey. I five feel, bucks at five bucks. I feel special. It's a chicken dinner for some people. <laughs> I feel special because I have a coupon code. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, all through this video, I would have the website up for these people. Man, just go do your research. Do what we did. Um, I'm telling you, don't go spend your money till you at least take the time to look at this. Mm -hmm. Because this is a really good buy, man. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, listen, we're humbled as always. I know it's late in the video and you're not still here. But uh, keep in mind, our memberships uh, are open uh, we would love to have you on the membership side. We will be doing some uh, extra giveaways um, through the membership side uh, here soon. We do put up a little bit of extra content. Nothing changes. If you can't afford to do it, it is what it is. But it helps us to keep doing this. And, I mean, we're, we're giving a guitar away right now every week. Yep. And we've been doing that all summer. Yep. And I'm not trying to brag about Fret Knot. But can you tell me any other channel that's doing that? A week. Every week. And we got a new one coming at the first of the week. Right after you see this video, we got a new one coming. This going, that one's going to be a fun one, too. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, listen, we're humbled. We appreciate you guys. Uh, as always, until next time. Stay tuned.